Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins and in this episode, we're gonna look over some fantastic video and photographs from Seattle, Washington. We asked people from around the world to help out Third Phase of Moon to be special correspondents, submit their video, make their own documentary, and Eric McCarthy reached out. Now we're gonna watch this incredible interview from Tommy Nikon, otherwise known as Tom Ogle. He submitted amazing photos, video from Seattle, Washington of what appears to be a UFO and a helicopter interaction. Now let's get to this amazing video from Seattle, Washington. My name is Tom Ogle. I go by the name Tommy Nikon. I'm a commercial advertising photographer here in Seattle, Washington. I'm located on Lower Queen Anne, and I've had five occasions to see UFOs. So in the summertime of July 2010, looking out about 9, 9.15 at night, a very, very bright sky, I saw what I thought was a bug or a paint chip, something very small on my window. And getting out of my chair, coming up to the window, I could see it was a, an object, something beyond the window pane, beyond a rooftop two, three blocks away, and it was showing a undulating motion. And what I did is I grabbed a, a low-end point-and-shoot camera with video uh, capability and shooting from my apartment, watching this thing and capturing its, uh, its mannerisms. In July of 2010, I had my second occasion to see what I believe to be a UFO. I was sitting right here in my apartment, looking across the Seattle Center, and in the skyline, I saw an object low in the sky. And I grabbed a, a small point-and-shoot camera with video capability, and I filmed this thing. And this was between about 9.15, 9.30 at night, and just observed what I was looking at. And in playback, it looked to be a very large object undulating like a leaf, showing definite movement, and appeared to be out over the southwest, possibly over uh, Elliott Bay area of, uh, of Seattle proper. It's showing elevation gains. Again, this is a fairly large size of a uh, sky space, and I knew then it wasn't an airplane, it wasn't a bird, it wasn't a kite, and it certainly wasn't a bug. Uh, just to give you some background, I'm a uh, former uh, Air Force brat. My dad was a pilot. I've been around aircraft my whole life. Uh, I live in a uh, very uh, flight busy uh, pathways here on Lower Queen Anne. I've got Kenmore Air Harbor doing uh, flight tours. I've got chopper companies offering tours. I've got three uh, television stations with choppers. I have all of the SeaTac, uh, Boeing field traffic, plus the privates. So I'm well aware of what uh, aircraft uh, looks like, behaves like, the characteristics, mannerisms. As we come from a, uh, an analytical process looking at the facts, not conjecture, and if we get uh, corroborating information, typically about a triangulation, three independent sources saying this is the same thing and I have to hang my hat on it. So I started out as a complete skeptic, not believing at all, and my first occasion really got me curious. And that's what kind of opened up my, my mind into possibilities. When I had the second and third occasion from my very living room in this studio, that blew me away. That made me a believer because I could not explain it in all of my background, in all of my skepticism prior, that I could describe this to anything but what I was actually looking at, and that was not of earthly origin.
people like myself, they received so much uh, negativity or a lack of receptivity uh, regarding what they were looking at. But uh, I can understand their reluctance to come forward uh, given that. But when I put out an ad in uh, a local uh, uh, media asking for other people to come forward, and nobody did, uh, that was very, very lonely in the sense that I was going, I can't believe on an evening like that for something that was out there for so long that nobody has stepped forward. That's the biggest disappointment. In uh, 1998, I had my first occasion to see what I believed to be a UFO, uh, broad daylight in the summertime, and uh, I rode my bike out to the uh, Woodenville Winery on the Burke Hillman Trail to meet a girlfriend out there. And on a clear blue sky, absolutely nothing in the sky, uh, nothing else for traffic whatsoever, I saw this bright, bright orb. And I called my uh, girlfriend's attention to it saying, look at that. And she put it off to being a star or a planet. And when I pointed at this thing, I said, what glows like that? What is that large in the sky? And as soon as I pointed at it, it ricocheted around a huge expanse of sky, almost like a cue ball, and then gone, nothing. Amazing. We want to thank our correspondent from Seattle, Washington, Eric McCarthy, for his UFO investigation, and Tommy Nikon for submitting his photographs and video along with this interview. And if you've captured anything amazing like Tommy Nikon, you can submit it to Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time.